Hey guys, so today we're gonna continue with our DFA series. So today I'm gonna be teaching you guys the divisibility problems. So how do we tackle divisibility problems using deterministic finite automata? So I'm gonna teach you a method which is really effective and really really easy. So I'm gonna get on with it. So as we know our mathematical model is m is equal to q sigma del q0 in f so i need to fill all these up right so now what is the logic i'm gonna use so let me take an example for example we have to find all the strings that are divisible by say example 3 so divisible by 3 okay so what is the logic i'm gonna use now so for the logic um, I'm going to use the remainder in my logic. So now, for any number, for 3, what are the, if, if any number is divisible by 3, there are only 3 remainders that are possible. 0, 1, and 2. These are the only remainders that are possible. So I'm going to consider each of these remainders as a state. So I'm going to consider when the remainder is 0, 0 remainder, then the state will be Q0. For 1 remainder, the state will be q1 and for 2 remainder the state will be q2 so uh, this takes care of our q now sigma since we are going to consider the decimal system the sigma consists of all decimal numbers so sigma will consist of 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 0 to 9 del we will calculate a little later so my q0 is gonna remain q0 and uh, there is not gonna be any final state in this because all we need to do is calculate the remainder okay so one thing you need to remember is that these kind of questions don't have any final states so now I'm gonna carry on with my normal method if you guys haven't seen one of my previous videos, you better check that out because that will help you in understanding this a little better. Okay, so now I'm going to make the transition table, if you guys remember. Here I'm going to write my, if you guys remember, I write the Q here, so that's going to be Q0, Q1, Q2. Okay, now here usually we write the sigma. So technically, I'm supposed to make a column for 0, for 1, 2, 3, 4, till 9. But now I'm going to be smart here. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to group those numbers which give you the same remainder. For example, 0, 3, 6, and 9 are going to give you the same remainder here. So I'm going to group them. 1, 4. Similarly, they're going to give you the same remainder. So I'm going to group those together here. So... I'm going to make my columns. So one column is for 0, 3, 6, 9. Another column I'm going to make is for 1, 4, 7. Another column I'm going to make is 2, 5 and 8. So have I considered all? Yes. Okay. So now what I'm going to do. I have to fill these up, right? So now Q0 corresponds to 0, Q1 corresponds to 1, and Q2 corresponds to 2. Now how am I going to check in which state will it go? So now, th this is very important, guys. So now, when I am in this stage, I am going to consider any one of these. So I am going to consider 0, 0, divided by 3. 0 divided by 3 will give me what remainder? 0, right? So, um, since the remainder here is 0, I am going to keep this in state Q0. Now, you can check this with any of the uh, numbers in this column. For example, if I do 0, 3 by 3, my remainder is still 0. 0, 6 by 3, 0, 9 by 3, still my remainder is 0. So, for this, I am going to remain in state Q0. Here, how am I going to consider it? So, I consider this number and then a number from here. 
So that is why I'm going to consider 0, 1 here. So 0, 1 divided by 4. What is the remainder, guys? Uh, sorry, uh, divided by 3. So what is the remainder when 1 is divided by 3? 1. So I'm going to... Uh, since the remainder comes to 1 and uh, for remainder 1 my state is q1, I'm going to go to q1. You can check that with 4 and 7. For example, 4 divided by 3 is also going to give me remainder 1. So, it will go to q1. Similarly, I'm going to do that with this. So, 0, 2 by 3, the remainder is going to be 2. And since for remainder 2 the state is q2, I'm going to go to q2. You can check it with 5 by 3, remainder is 2, so I will go to Q2. Now here, the trend what I am following is this number with this number, divide by 3, right? So now what am I going to do? I am going to do 1 and 0, 10 divided by 3. What is the remainder, guys? 1. Since the remainder is 1 I'm, and Q1 is for remainder 1, I am going to go to Q1 here. You can check this with any of them. For example, 1 and 3. 13 by 3 is also going to give me remainder 1. So, it will go to Q1. Now, similarly, I am going to check here 1, 1. So, that is 11 by 3. So, this gives me remainder 2. So, I am going to go to Q2 here. 1, 2. 12 by 3. Now, this, this uh, is completely divisible, so my remainder is 0, so I'm going to have to go to Q0. So, now, now what I'm going to check here is 2, 0. So, 2, 0 divided by 3. What is my remainder? 2, right? So, I'm going to go to Q2 here. Now, 2, 1. 2, 1 by 3. It's completely divisible, right? So, my remainder is 0. So, I'm going to go to Q0. Now, 2, 2. Remainder is 1, right? So, I am going to go to Q1. So, this is my transition table. Complete. Uh, so, using this transition table, I am going to draw the transition diagram. Okay. So, I have three states here. So, I am going to first draw the three states. Q0, Q1, Q2, Q0, Q1, and Q2. So, Q0 is my initial state. So, um, uh, when Q0 on entering of any of these goes to Q0, so on 0, 3, 6, or 9 will go to Q0. Q0 on getting an input of 1, 4 or 7 will go to Q1 and Q0 on getting an input of 2, 5 or 8 will go to Q2. Now from on Q1, Q1 on getting an input of 0, 3, 6 or 9 will remain in Q1, Q1 on getting an input 1, 4 or 7 will go to Q2 and Q1 on getting an input 2, 5 and 8 will go to Q0. So similarly, for Q2 on getting an input of 0, 3, 6 and 9 will remain in Q2. Uh, on getting an input of 1, 3 and 7 1, 4 and 7, sorry, will go to Q0 and on getting an input of 2, 5 and 8, uh, will go to Q1. So, basically, uh, this is how you solve the divisibility problems. Uh, this is a neat trick that I have taught you guys. So, I hope you understood this type of problems. If you have any queries, you can please comment below and please keep watching and like the video and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much guys.